But the economy is essentially hinging on these issues. It's going to hinge on the government. So when I came in uh, into Parliament, it took me four elections. So some people get up and I say, oh, I, after they win the uh, contest and they lose, I complain. And I asked them, you contest how many times? They said, oh, in one time. I said, okay, you go contest more than you lose, then you come and complain, I'm happy to listen. So I contested four elections to get elected to be a cheating system. So the first time I contested was in 2007. I knew nothing about contesting. The reason I got into elections was because I was heavily involved in the community. I used to play rugby league and that allowed me to engage with all different demographics. So I used to play off-season or at uh, Bambi Road in Lay or Double Market in Hagen. Uh, here I think it was Ahola and Sabama and Calgary. And you get to engage with all types of people and then you form relationships with good people. And I'm basically going through uni, getting a job, and realizing that something's wrong. And so then I became a police reservist and I got to see firsthand the impacts of law and order, people being raped, victims of crime, again it was wrong. And then sometimes as a police officer, officers used to assault people and I didn't like going on duty and watching officers assaulting youths that were doing nothing except wearing their drugs the wrong way or hanging around on the street. And then I had to basically go against my own officers I worked with. And then I decided to not to go on, go on duty anymore. And I set up an NGO called Youth Week that was protecting people's rights against police assaulting them. And then I set up an NGO and then you realize you just keep going round and round in circles. The problem is not at the bottom, the problem is at the top. And then a decision was made to contest an election. The first election I contested, I got a thousand primary, about 1,600 preferences, and I got 2,600 overall, and I finished sixth, sixth or seventh place. And I learned, no one unfortunately helped me to say, this is what you should do or not do. And then 2007, even my uh, Peter Bada, the former governor of Berlin, is my tambu, my sister, older sister, Mary's son, but unfortunately they were not down with me, i because he's from Australia, he knows how many more time, but anyway. <laughs> and so learning from 2007, I said, okay, now I understood. So 2012, I contested again, I can maintain and work in the community, build stronger relationships. And then in 2007, I got 2,500 primary, but I got 5,500 preferences, and I finished second by 544 votes. And my opponent at the time had cheated, so I took the matter to court and for election petition, which is an extremely technical area of law, you get one, technique, one thing wrong in your, uh, in your petition and they strike it out. And that's why I learned the law, by going and challenging an election petition. I had to lose a second election to learn the law. And then when the court, two other lawyers appeared, then they had degrees, they were, practice, they were qualified lawyers, I wasn't, but I kept reading. And I wasn't a person that liked to read either. But because it was something that was of absolute interest to me, I started to go on, online and I found Packley and I kept reading case law. You want to learn the law? Don't read Acts of Parliament, they're boring. You read the case law, they tell the story. I kept reading cases from 1977 all the way and I started to understand the law. And my lawyer went and he was stuffing around, I had to send him home, ask for the German, the law of technicality, and then I argued. <coughs> I asked the court, can I argue? And normally the court doesn't argue. To argue with your right, but typically you always lose. And then they thought that I was the other lawyers at court asked them, You don't mind if Mr. Graham argues? So they laughed and said, It's okay. They thought I was looking for an adjournment, but I don't want to send my lawyer. And then I argued the case and they put the technical part, they called his competency, and then I won. And then I can say, Okay, now the technical is out of the way. When many cases are struck out, then I send the lawyer come and say, Okay, you can cross the witnesses. So we won the uh, court case, the court then declared his election null and void and then they basically uh, called the by-election and I thought that you know, you get someone who steals that or cheats, they usually get scared. Not in the end. So the next level of cheating was to the next level. So we had every ministers running around in the little villages, handing out everything under the sun for banana boats, to tanks. So they controlled the system, that's when the whole government came down in that by-election and they wiped me out. So I increased my primary, but when we the accounting, we started to see the numbers were not adding up. So then we asked for uh, serial numbers. So before, they used to always issue serial numbers, opening and closing. 
So then your school leaders know that those papers belong to that box and then they stop, 2012, they stop giving out serial numbers, which means that anyone can go and waste new papers. And then by doing the counting process, we ask for serial numbers that refuse. So I had to 